this particular one where, as you can see, this weird place that we're on, and, um, and Colonel Herrick, who is Brian Cranston, um, he is, when we meet him, he's not a particularly nice character. Uh, he's very efficient, military man, very good, definitely a man to have on your side. But on a personal uh, side of things, his relationship with his wife, who you saw there, Essie, uh, is, um, is far, from, far from nice. Um, I sent him off on this particular mission, which you, can, which you just saw, and when he goes, comes back from this very dangerous and he almost gets killed, he comes back and he appears to have re-evaluated his life uh, and comes back a much nicer person. However, there are aliens on this planet, uh, and there is a suspicion that uh, he may not be the man that we think he is, and that's where the what makes us human comes in, that, that philosophical point that you brought up. Because then you start sort of looking at somebody and looking at the different things they do and start criticizing yeah. and judging and what's different about them yeah. that's similar to me, you know, and yeah. how, how similar and same should all humans be. Yeah, and, exa and, and a generosity of spirit and uh, uh, the idea that we're gregarious animals. Uh, if we weren't, we wouldn't live in cities. We would all, all be f in gated communities trying to protect ourselves from each other. But we actually... This room is an example. We love being around other people. It makes us, this is one of the things that makes us human. It makes us feel alive. Uh, and that's one of the philosophical, kind of philosophical points. But it's still a hugely enjoyable story. It's not, I mean, it's not a, a lesson in philosophy. It's, it's very tense. It's very good. The acting is incredible in this. Scene.